Hello, uh, welcome to this demonstration of uh, the Process Automation Manager, uh, even known uh, as GB JBPM. And uh, we are going to show how to use signals in a BPM process. So uh, let's explore this project that we have here that uh, I called uh, signals. We have two uh, pro simple processes here. A really basic uh, one just to show two possible flavors of uh, how to use the signals. So uh, first of all uh, let's understand the, the design. It's uh, really straightforward. So we have the start of the process, we have the, uh, the event, uh, the catch, the catching event uh, with uh, this signal that is, um, and we call it uh, wake up. One of the key aspects here is that we have given this name uh, wake up uh, as signal with uh, the uh, dash inside. So wake dash up. So let's see how it works at runtime and then we come back on the other uh, option. Uh, okay, to test the, the signal, it's pretty basic. You can go into the process definition, start the basic process uh, without any information here. And looking at the diagram, you can see that uh, the process started and now is in pause, waiting for uh, a, a wake up signal. You can test uh, uh, the signal uh, directly from this uh, UI, uh, sending the signal using this pop-up here. And we can uh, use the, the you, you, you can select the, the signal. So you can notice that uh, the UI suggests us the uh, available signals. So here you can select uh, wake up. Uh, uh, as a signal name. Uh, we can even give uh, um, uh, a payload to the signal and say, it's, um, let's say um, payload. And so uh, refreshing the status, we can see that the process is completed. So the, the signal uh, is arrived. And uh, we can check uh, the process variable. Uh, so uh, the payload that we sent uh, in inside the signal uh, was correctly assigned to the info uh, variable. Um, so, and that's it for the basic usage. Oh, let's uh, use uh, even the, the API. Uh, so let's start another process instance. Again, basic. Uh, okay, so we can see that uh, we have here the uh, the swagger file of the all the pro process uh, API and there is a, a this um, option here to call uh, the signals over uh, a container ID so we have to define the container ID we can use the container alias so that the real container let's uh, let me uh, show this to you so the real contain, uh, container name is signal underscore one dot zero snapshot and so on. Uh, but we here use just the, the alias that by convention is just the first part of the container name. Uh, then we need to put the process instance ID that we want where we want to send the, the message. So in this case is the process instance number seven. So let's update this with seven. And we give the, the signal name, wake up, uh, and then we send the useful information as um, payload of this signal. Uh, pressing execute, we, sh we have sent the message. So we can see uh, the effect and as expected, the message is arrived. And again, we can check the information inside the useful info here again. And that's it for the basic uh, uh, for the basic signal. Let's uh, um, discover uh, another option that we have uh, in um, Process Automation Manager. 
So instead of uh, defining a, a basic signal, uh, we can uh, uh, use a variable uh, to define the, the signal name. This is uh, interesting because um, we can uh, use this signal, this specific signal name to correlate uh, with some business uh, uh, related information that and we can forget the process assistance id okay so from business point of view it's more interesting this option so and the signal is wake uh, dash um, we use the hash um, then uh, graph open info and graph closed info is the uh, the process variable that we define as a basic uh, process variable that we have here that is defined as a string Okay, the same that we used before for the basic, just to um, to map the um, to map the, the payload. Uh, just to complete the explanation, this was uh, even um, uh, the same for the basic uh, process instance or process definition. Sorry, and here you have in the signal you have the data assignment where we um, take the, the information that comes from. Uh, um, from the, the event, and we map this information with the, uh, the with the process uh, variable here info. Okay, so far so good. We can uh, check the behavior of a correlation BPM BPM uh, at runtime. Uh, so let's uh, start a correlation process instance. Now we start the process systems uh, uh, giving uh, some business um, uh, information that we need we are going to use later for cor to correlate the process systems. So and let's say that we want to use um, um, uh, an ID one two three four um, as correlation ID. Um, and let's submit uh, the process with this information. So uh, you can see here that the process assistance has started and is uh, in a uh, in a wait state. So in a wait state, we, uh, waiting for the the signal, the incoming signal. So now uh, we can uh, send a, a signal to our process engine, um, and we can uh, uh, avoid giving the process assistance ID because we can use the the business information to correlate uh, um, the, the process instance with the signal. So let's use this other API. This other API um, required the, um, the container ID. Um, we can, uh, it, it also uh, lets you specify a number of instance ID that you want to communicate with, but in our case, we don't want to specify this. Uh, uh, please uh, note that um, be aware that here you need the, the full container ID, not the not just the alias. And here, uh, uh, look, the signal name will be uh, wake uh, dash uh, one two three four, because in in, in uh, uh, our case we are waiting for this specific signal. So um, again, the difference with the previous case, we are sending a message, uh, we are sending a signal, and we are not stating here which process assistance ID we want to communicate with. So we, the, 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 discrim the discrimination is uh, the signal name here. So let's send this information to the signal wake one, two, three, four. And let's see if it's correctly working. And uh, yes, it's working. So uh, the, the correlation process was completed. Um, and um, we can check that in the process, the process variable was even uh, um, correctly set up uh, with the useful information that comes from uh, the, the signal. Uh, so I think that's all uh, for uh, for this demo. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, so thank you very much for listening and see you soon.